It's your boy Odin from Host.Promo. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing Accounting.com, a new software that helps businesses keep track of all their accounting, and it's 100% free and it's open source, so you keep your privacy as well, and it works on any device, okay? We're going to be also going over how the company does make money, why it's free, how you can get started with a $100 free trial, and I'm gonna show you the product itself. If you don't know what Host.Promo is, it's a website I'm working on to find the best web hosting company and promotion. Make sure to check it out later, okay? And DigitalOcean right now has a $100 free trial, which I will leave in the description as well as the pinned comment. Once you've signed up, you can click Create, and you can go here to Marketplace and click Accounting, and it will create you an instance of accounting running on a server and you don't have to set up anything, okay? And it will email you a username and password. Once you have that username and password, and just for the record, I'll tell you guys what mine was because it may be the same on all of them. My username was test at company.com and my password was 123654, okay? So once you're logged in and you create your company, I wanna show you guys, you have the main dashboard view right here, okay? And I've only put a few sample data entries in, so it will look a lot better once you've added a lot more data. Total income, it will show how much total income you have. It will show your total expenses as well as your total profit. You can break it down by dates, monthly, quarterly. You can come down here and you can see some donut charts as well as some metadata about your incomes and your account balance. And then I thought this was pretty cool. So it says, see how it says test company switch? Well, you can actually click manage companies and you can put a lot of companies in here. So if you're an accountant or you have multiple companies, you can manage them all from one place very easy, okay? And if we go into the menu right here, you can see this is where we see notifications. This is where we can choose our languages, and it looks like they have many, many different languages to choose from. Uh, however, the, the drop down on the language is a little bit finicky, so if I can't get it, I'm just gonna keep going. All right, whatever. Okay, and then the updates. Um, this is where you would see updates, and you can also check for updates. And then right here, if you click help, this will go to their documentation. And if you click this, this will show your profile. And you can also click the profile button right here and you can set your language, you can change your password, you can have different user roles, which is pretty cool, uh, especially if you wanna have employees or something access this and you can choose what user the company is for, okay? And then items, so items will basically keep track of your inventory as far as I'm concerned and you can click add new and you can also import and export items and you can connect this with PayPal, Shopify, I'll show you all of that in a second, okay? And income, incomes you can set, uh, incomes for invoices, revenues, as well as customers, and you can add, you can import, and you can export, you can filter. Expenses is pretty much the same thing for bills, payments, vendors, and it's pretty cool you can add all these different vendors that you do business with this is just an example one proxies llc and then banking you can add a bunch of information about your bank accounts uh, information about bank transfers transactions as well as reconciliations and they also have a report section where you can see your income summary um, you can check your expense summary, how much you've spent on expenses. You can look at an income versus expense. They also have a tax summary. Uh, you do need to put some more information in here. And they have a profit and loss summary, which is pretty awesome, okay? And then settings, they have general settings. Uh, they have settings for you know localization, invoices, defaults, emailing, scheduling, appearances. Uh, this is pretty cool if you guys want the dark theme they do have that we'll go ahead and click save i prefer the dark theme myself okay and then you can also set like the max file size session lifetime the loud file types and different things like that they have a category section a currency section uh, tax rate settings offline payment settings 
and some PayPal settings, which is pretty cool. And now I wanna show you guys something really cool. So right here when it says apps, if we go to it, we don't have any of these apps installed as far as I'm concerned, unless there's some default ones. And you can also put an API token here, but this is how the company makes money. So I wanna show you something. So if you go to their website and you click apps, they have hundreds of different integrations, okay? Whether that be PayPal Express, PayPal Sync, Stripe, whatever it is, uh, these apps do cost a bit of money and they do vary from price depending on what they do. But you can figure out all the main services you use for your business financially and you can sync most of them automatically into the accounting software, okay? Because no one wants to come here and add every single invoice, every single expense manually, okay? So that's where these apps come in super useful. And they also have a bunch of e-commerce ones, open cart, press to cart, press to shop, Shopify, WooCommerce. Uh, if we go to page one, they have even more. Um, and yeah, guys, and they also have all these different categories here. Uh, if we click help desk, let's see what they have. Nothing yet, um, but they they do have quite a lot. Okay. So I would recommend you in Matimo, which is pretty cool. It's like an open source analytics. So you can really hook up everything into the accounting software pretty easy. If we go over their features, in case I didn't cover any of them, um, free accounting, you know, like, like there's no hidden fees, free means free, okay? You can use it on Mac, PC, tablet, mobile phone. It's completely open source. It's easy to invoice. You can easily manage customers. You can handle deposits and transfers. You can handle various payment methods. So if you get a cash order as well as a bank order, you can handle them both. You can create billable expenses. You can manage vendors. You can put their email and other metadata there. Uh, you can handle inventory management bank accounts, it's multi-currency friendly, multi-company friendly, powerful reporting tools, a client portal, reoccurring, so if you guys need to do reoccurring invoices, revenues, bills, payments, you can do that automatically through the accounting software. Um, you can set up uh, and track discounts. You can have information about your customers, such as their profile, address, a list of transactions, and other metadata about them. You can attach unlimited attachments to invoices, expenses, payments. Uh, there's transaction categories. You can set different tax rates. You can do permissions, so you can have different user roles with different levels. And it's also, also multilingual and they have the app store, okay? And the other awesome thing I wanna show you guys is their API, so this is more for the people who are a little bit more geeky or who may be concerned, hey, I don't wanna use this software unless I can for sure plug in with my custom software and use an API, okay? And they have every single API endpoint, okay? They built this on top of the Laravel framework, which is really, really awesome. If you've never used Laravel before, uh, the application will look a little something like this, the folder and file structure, okay? And we have a routes folder. And so if we go into that routes folder and then we list the files, we have a file called api.php. And this is normal for our, all Laravel apps, okay? And so if we look at this file, you can see that we have API endpoints for the customers, invoices, okay? And then this points to a model. And what resource means, resource means that it doesn't only support one endpoint, for example, to delete something or add something. Resource means it will support all the endpoints, create, read, update, and delete, okay? And if you need to look more into that, I would search Laravel API resource on Google and you will find out more information. And you can also uh, reverse engineer the endpoints by going like this, I will show you. So if we go into the app folder, and then we go into the HTTP folder, and then the controllers folder, and then API, okay? This will be 
all the controller files with all our endpoints and what they do inside them okay so if we list the files here you can see it's even split nicely by folders and for example we can go into the banking one and then we can list the files and we have an accounts and transfers.php okay so we're going to view the transfers.php file and if we scroll down you can see if we just hit the main endpoint it will call the index um, you can also show one specific one the store method will handling uh, storing the data basically saving it the update will it's what it sounds like it will update the data and the destroy method will destroy that model okay and so that my friends is how you use the api and they also have some information on their documentation however i wanted to show you that too okay and so overall the accounting software seems pretty pretty awesome and i'm very impressed and it's completely free and open source and i think this is a great way to take back your privacy as well as a company and not have your data all over being sold and you know it's better for your customers as well okay and so i think it's pretty cool and if you want the hundred dollar free trial that will be down in the description as well as the pinned comment and make sure to check out host.promo and if you like this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and i hope you have an amazing rest of the day and happy accounting peace out